Hey, welcome to... I haven't made a video in a while, so I wanted to make one, so... I was watching YouTube, and I was just like, Oh yeah, I remember the DLC for these Fallout games. They were great. So, here's a tier list that I made. Ah, uh, Fallout! I love these games. I played... Uh, 3, 4, and New Vegas. Part of 76, before I completely uninstalled that shit, because it's a travesty against God. And, uh, here we go! Okay, let's start with fucking this the trash. <laughs> Fallout 4 uh, has some questionable DLC, uh, putting it mildly. vault Tech 1 is actually pretty fun. You get to make your own vault. There's a bunch of experiments where you can be the evil dickhead vault people that uh, experiments on people or completely subterfuge the experiments and uh, piss off the old overseer, which is what I did. Uh, it was actually pretty fun. Um, adds a lot of fun stuff, makes your vault residents happy. I'd say that, I'd say that's actually A tier. Um, on the opposite end of that spectrum, we have Fallout 4 Contraptions. Uh, I had the Season Pass Edition um, so it came with all this DLC and it had a bunch of stuff that was like, hey, this is a DLC thing. It has a mostly negative review on Steam. <laughs> because it's probably just shit the community made and then Bethesda's like, hey, let's fucking sell that. So, yeah, refund tier. Automatron. Uh, this added some fun stuff. Uh, the villain was kind of stupid. Uh, didn't stop to question their motives and at the very end they're like, oh no, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, I was the bad guy, oh no. Um... Miss Dapsy didn't like the villain, and uh, that made me kind of sad at the whole situation. So uh, let's go with uh, C tier. Uh, because they kept attacking my settlements and killing my people. I remember that now. Absolutely C tier. Wasteland Workshop. <laughs> Refund tier. Exactly the same as this one. I don't even remember what's in this one. Just extra shit you can build. Great. <laughs> Nuka World. Okay. It belongs here in refund tier because it forces you to be a raider to experience any of the content in it and for some that's fine that's great you're already an evil dickhead great but for the rest of us we're just like okay so I either have to be an evil dickhead weirdo or not play the quest that I paid ten dollars for <sighs> it okay it has some interesting areas it has some interesting quests kind of uh, I like the Tarzan guy in the zoo and the fucking crocodiles. Holy shit. It, it belongs here. But in my heart of hearts, I, I did enjoy it a little bit. I made a new character specifically. I made Negan from Walking Dead with a bat. And I went through the whole game just to play Nuka World as a raider. And it was it was actually okay. Because I hadn't ever met Preston Garvey. And I made sure to. Uh, not meet him. So, uh, then he couldn't be mad at me, because uh, I gave up my Raider leeways after the DLC was over. But, if you go in blind, they just completely blindside you, and everybody's mad at you. So, fuck this DLC. It belongs here. C-tier. C-tier. We'll just leave it there. Okay, that's it for 4. I thought 4 had more DLC than that. Is that really it? Am I stupid? Hold on. I gotta double check. Close out of my crazy hentai pages. Oh, never mind. You can get the high resolution texture pack. That's absolutely worth it. Wait, it has Far Harbor. Why is it Far Harbor on here? When I was going through this, it didn't have Far Harbor. Hold on. I gotta redo this whole fucking tier list. Creations. Oh, yeah, we gotta put that in there too. Okay, I don't know why that's in there twice. Okay, great. Uh, shit tier. Also shit tier. I don't know why I put it in there twice. Uh, website is trash. Uh, anyways, Far Harbor uh, was one that I missed. Uh, Steam's page for this game is fucking all over the place. Uh, I remember having fun with it. There were some reskinned enemies. There were some new ones. Um, the fog was kind of like the dead money fog, but not really... Um, the companions were kind of interesting. I liked the area. Um, interesting aesthetics. I'm gonna put it in B tier. Um, 
Yeah. I think that's that's pretty good right there. It's definitely better than any of this other garbage. I'm going to move this one down as well. <laughs> All of Fallout 4 stuff is definitely in B tier or below. When it, when I search my heart of hearts, like it's really like, can I really put it up there with Mothership Zeta? Where you get abducted by aliens and fight aboard the mothership that's trying to destroy the Earth? Or something? I don't speak aliens, so I wasn't really sure of what their motives were. I don't remember there being any interesting weapons, but maybe that's because it's been a few years. I remember having fun with that one. Definitely, definitely up there. Definitely up there. The Pit. Oh, this is one of those ones. It's like Eventide Island from Breath of the Wild, where they take all of your shit and they say, Hey, fucko, you're going to use whatever we give you and whatever you find and earn. And I like that. And then, like, 20 minutes in, you can get all your shit back, and that renders that moot. But, uh, pretty good. Uh, gives you a really shit moral choice right at the end that's just like, Okay, what? I can I can kill this baby or just not kill this baby. If, okay, it's it prevent it. That choice at the very end knocks it down from an A to a B. Very good. I had fun with the pit. It's an interesting area. Fighting off trogs makes me feel like I'm fighting off trogs in the comments or on Reddit or Twitter. <laughs> I'm like, there they are. There are all the trogs. Um, yeah, good DLC. Definitely pretty solid. <laughs> so, A tier. <laughs> Operation Anchorage. If you do this right away, it makes you overpowered way too early. Um, but pretty fun. It's another one of those, um, even tied things where you play, you play as a different character, so you don't have any of your stuff. You just have to get good, get through the areas. Uh, it's fun. I like it. Uh, it's not up there. It's 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 definitely B tier, uh, just because you can break the game too early. And it makes you feel like you didn't earn it. You know, you just go through a combat simulator where everything's leveled and you just win. Point Lookout. This is like an old timey horror video. Vi do I really say video instead of movie? What the fuck is wrong with me? Uh, you have your brain taken out by a bunch of tribal weirdos. And then you go fight this other brain or help this other brain against the brainless. It's pr it's interesting. I like the area. I like that it's got some new enemies. I don't remember very much about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right there. Do I really want to keep the pit in A tier because of that stupid choice right at the end? I'm gonna put it in B. You're like fuck. What everything's B? Why? Why? What goes up in A? Well, I'll tell you what goes up in play on every single character. The courier stash. No, I'm just kidding. That's absolutely a C tier. What? 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 Wow! You can start with a canteen in survival mode, where the whole point is you have to manage your water intake. Thank you, courier stash. It's 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 just an add-on that gives you some like additional shit at the beginning. Like stim packs and garbage. Gun Runner's Arsenal is good though. This one gives you a whole bunch of new weapons, and you won't be able to afford them until pretty late in the game. But pretty fun to mess around with. Broken Steel, aka the real ending of Fallout 3. It raises your level cap from 20 to 30 and gives you <laughs> Liberty Prime and the big fucking cataclysmic ending with the fight with the Enclave. What should have been the actual final part of the game. This honestly feels like it was the end of the game and then they just cut it off so they could tack it on as DLC later. Uh, it's the only thing that's preventing me from putting up it up here is because it feels like that. Uh, definitely worth playing. Definitely worth having so you can get from 20 to 30. Holy shit. Dead money. It's like a scavenger hunt in hell. It is fantastic. There's new weapons. There's new areas. The companions are fantastic. The puzzles, just having to figure out every area. If you rely on saving and reloading, you're going to be doing that constantly in this. If you are just kind of living on the edge and just going without saving, you might find yourself at the fucking 
dead end screen more often than not. It is fantastic. It fills you with dread. It fills you with hope. The ending is fun. I like that you can just lock the guy in the the ending vault and just <laughs> leave him there and it's just like, yeah, enjoy your treasure. I like that the whole point of the DLC is letting go, but you can just <laughs> say, fuck that. I'm going to take all the gold bars and fat walk them all the way out of this vault and have more money than God when I'm done. Fantastic. S tier. Every time. Old World Blues. Absolutely fantastic. It gives you so many character upgrades. Uh, you can have an artificial spine, then you get your old spine back and your spine is better. It's it's crazy. It's medical science at its absolute best. Every time. Play it every time. Honest Hearts. Okay, so at this point you're like, okay, fucking New Vegas DLC in S tier, really everything? Well, this one, absolutely not. You hear about the burned man for the whole game. And you're just like, holy shit, the burned man. Is he finally going to be a character? And then he's he's a character. And he's cool. And he's voiced by someone who's great. I saw a crank call video where they use this guy's voice. It was very funny. Um, yeah, C tier. Because uh, that DLC is pretty bad. And I know. I know. The canyon's interesting looking. It's got bears and tribal people and... That's about it. The whole fight between the two tribes, it's like, why do I give a shit? As soon as I leave here, I'm not coming back. And it's just like, oh no, are the tribes going to use guns? Or are they going to not use guns? I'm like, probably the gun one, because that's what you need to survive in the wasteland. So, fuck your moral choice garbage. That's an absolute C tier. Lonesome Road, the fucking fight with Ulysses. It is fantastic. I like that you can beat him with a speech check. You have to have a hundred speech to be able to beat him with that. And then he fights the ending fight with you instead of against you. Um, makes for a pretty good boss. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve that makes beating him pretty enjoyable. Uh, I'd say it's not it's not perfect. Um... If you follow the lore and you care about it a lot, um, it's fantastic because you're just like, oh, this fleshes out his character and my character. If you're kind of like me who went through and you were just like, I didn't do shit. He's like, yeah, it's your fault that the atomic bomb went off and uh, that the platinum chip was all your fault and stuff. It's like, oh, bitch, I don't fucking know. It's like, that's shit that my character would know that I, the player, don't even know. Like, fuck you. A tier. <laughs> I'm probably being too harsh on Far Harbor. It was, it was actually pretty good. The pit absolutely belongs in B tier. <sighs> this is the problem with tier lists is that when you when you start to second guess yourself, it's like, does that really deserve that? And absolutely, Nuka World deserves to be in refund tier. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't in good conscience because. It, it it's it's nothing but missed potential and wasted opportunities. If you could bring your good allies from the wasteland into Nuka World to take out the raiders and then do the quest to turn on Nuka World as like a trading hub and then you're fighting all the remnants of the Nuka raiders with your g gang of good guys, that would be epic. It would be like the fucking ending of Fallout 4, but in DLC form. So you've got everybody, all your factions, helping you. You know, if you sided with the Institute, you got synths coming into Nuka World to take out these raiders, and, you know, the raiders are fighting back with weirdo Nuka weapons you haven't even seen before. You know, it'd be awesome, but it's not. It's refund here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> New Vegas always comes out on top, you know. You know how it is. I like that the show decanonized it, because Bethesda's so mad they're so mad. Obsidian made a better game than they could, and now they're just taking it out on them. What I really need to do is play The Outer Worlds, which is Obsidian's n next latest and greatest game. I have it. I just haven't played it yet. So, well, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> See you later. Select a category. Fallout. Fall Guys. Close enough. Descri fucking it's right here. 
I put descriptive titles so I don't need descriptions. The pit. There you go, the pit. Add a URL for image credits. I don't know. Google.com. Gafoogle. Gafoogler. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, great. I must be logged into me. Fuck you. Why would they put that at the very end? They're like, ah, oh, make a thing. Okay, now log in.